music? It means it is time for one of our favorite cooking segments, The Art of the Italian Cuisine with Gino Tiozzo from Donatello. Good morning. Good morning. We missed Come you. On. You're here on Franchise now. I How know. do you feel that? Do you like that? I love it. Thank <laughs> you. You've created it. So thank no, you buddy, much. you have created it. That's what happens it, you know. when you're good. You need your own hour-long TV show. We're going to push for that on the Food Network. I like it. You just have to you promise to come back here. Okay. <laughs> what are you making for us today? I'm really excited about today this. Today I'm making some uh, homemade uh, lobster and crab meat ravioli. They have a little ricotta cheese in there and a few seasonings, a little parsley and so on. They're beautiful, delicious little morsels. So I uh, we're going to get started with... We're gonna get started. I have them boiling here. We're gonna get started with a little sauce. Okay. So the sauce is fairly simple. A little bit of shallots. Okay. I'm gonna let those go for a second. A bit of white wine. Uh, speaking of. White wine. I, I see some. I see some empty glasses. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I hope, actually now oh, I can't see always anything. Bring in All the I heat. see is smoke. Okay. okay. Can't see anything. I brought a nice luminous, okay. a nice Chardonnay. This with this dish will be perfect. Okay. And uh, we're just going to let that simmer for a second. Let the wine reduce. You always want to let the alcohol evaporate off a little bit. And so I can want, smell yeah, the Yeah, the wine alcohol stuff. comes off. So then you have the flavor, nice citrus flavor of the wine without all of that uh, pungent that takes over. So we're going to give that a second. And these are beautiful little Here, my raviolis that we Thank you. feature as a, uh, as a uh, special. I'm going to put a little bit of our crab meat here. We like to use the knuckle and claw meat. Which now, is, question for you, back because yeah. you know that's like one of my all-time favorite ingredients, blue crab. I, I spent yep. a lot of days in Virginia growing up, going there next month, can't wait to go home. Is blue crab in a lot of Italian meals? Well, it's... Uh, I had not heard of... The crab meat, we, in the coastal areas of Italy, we eat a lot of different crabs. So, blue crab is not native to that part of the world, but we have, uh, that's the best that we can get around this area. So, what is so native? the what substitute, kind, yeah. we have like she crabs, Gran Segola, Gran Sioporo. There's like different kinds okay. of different kinds of crab meat. Uh, restaurant in Venice called La Madonna. They do the Gran Segola, which is a she crab. With that, they take all the meat out of it. They put it back in the in the shell. A yeah, yeah, yeah. little bit of parsley, a little bit of olive oil. It's one of my favorite dishes. I have yet Great to, antipasto. to try one that I have not liked. So, so I believe. Fair you. enough. Crab meat is one of the most delicious uh, uh, proteins and just I'm things that come from the sea. And, you oh, know, I'll agree. be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever, again, I know you're probably surprised <laughs> to hear this, I don't know if I've ever had crab meat with Italian before, with really? pasta. So I'm excited well, to try this. One of our most popular dishes at Donatello, this is something we run as a special, but one of our most popular dishes, because we use a, an absolutely fabulous uh, jumbo lump crab meat, is our linguine with crab. I mean, it's just yeah. simple, oh. it's fantastic. We really, uh, we sell a ton of it. So I put a little bit of butter in there, because butter makes everything uh -huh. I'm sure good does. With that. Right? Uh, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna put a little cream in there, okay? And just uh, let that simmer for a minute. Is this a white okay. sauce? No, it's a red sauce that you're doing. It's a white okay. sauce. It's gonna be a little pink by the time okay. we're done, oh. okay? So the, we're gonna add tomato in a minute, and it's just gonna give it a little bit of color and add a little bit of complexity to the flavors, give it a little citrus uh, or uh, acidity. These are the ravioli before we cook them, those beautiful little things and there. these are handmade uh, at Donatello? These are handmade at Donatello, yeah. We also make, uh, we make all our stuffed pastas. So on our menu that we've been serving for 34 yeah. years is uh, our homemade agnolotti that um, our stuff would Cotta cheese and spinach. We serve them with our double cream sauce or Alfredo sauce. Uh, we also make our own tortellini, a meat filled uh, tortellini. They're fantastic. I mean, now, with a nice homemade chicken You may have answered this, but bar. what is in this ravioli? Is it just the cheese? Lobster and the... meat. The, okay, so there is. Meat, ah, yeah. Okay, I just uh, didn't know. A little know if it bit of the cotta cheese. No, we, I mean, there's. It's in the. It's in the filling also. So you get bowl. different level. Of, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> you get. You get it on both sides. So we're just gonna let this, as soon as this comes up to a boil. All right, we've got two add minutes a just tomato. to give you a little Thank clue you. on time. Just dirty it with tomato sauce a little bit like that. Now okay. I don't wanna embarrass myself, but have you heard, cause is it vodka or what is the- Vodka like, sauce. Where they, 
Yeah. I would have to assume you mix. Color. Yeah, it's red and, and white. Is that what that, Here, that be well, considered? Well, okay, this is uh, not a vodka sauce because we didn't use vodka, right? Okay. But we used white wine. Okay. So the vodka sauce is is uh, similar without all the crap in there, but it's um, it's uh, vodka. Let the alcohol evaporate from that. So Cream there is a, okay. and tomato huh. makes it pink. And then a lot of places, uh, would you do me a favor? Yeah, and, what you uh, need? Oh, you want me to get these out? Yes, put them right there in the sauce. In Let the, a little bit of okay. water drain. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Drop them right in there. Okay. And they'll be ready to serve. I got a couple more in there. Hold on. Um, Let them get away. Okay. You're a good All fisher. Right. Woman. And huh? what? <laughs> you're good. You're a good fisher woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you telling me they're yes, yes. Okay. <sighs> let's plate these and let I you try them, wait. yeah? Yes. And while we're doing that, Gino, just out of curiosity, I always want to know tips, not that I'm a chef, but for people who are watching oh, who do everybody. love to advance their culinary actions in their home, any tips for cooking a pasta lobster crab dish? Yes, don't cook it too long. Oh, good. Yeah, it's simple. Don't, don't add too many flavors. Don't kill the seafood. Well, what I'm thinking, what I might try is get, you know, I don't know about making my own ravioli at home, but I want you to get, that, like, I want to see that at the I know, yeah, house. No, no, no. I, I don't think it'd go well, well. but I could do the really, sauce and the crab sauce. There's some really sauce. good fresh pasta products out there in, uh, in your higher I mean, end food you stores. Could you make this sauce? Most definitely. And then definitely. add a little crab? Most definitely. Just, uh, but there's some really good uh, products out there. Uh, in higher end food store and specialty stores of homemade uh, pastas. So don't be shy to buy, uh, to buy something in a store and then just uh, be creative with it. No garlic with, no garlic with seafood and no cheese like Parmesan cheese. It's too strong. It's going to kill the flavor. Well, but Gina, cheers. 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 Uh, my favorite dish that Thank you've you. made thus far. Cheers. I like that. Cheers, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers to you at home. Thank you for having me back. And up next, the